Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. What's up? This is your boy Super, and I'm playing Dying Light 2. See how the gray shadows on the top have looked like they're forming an image in the back on the sky? Wonder what that hidden image is. So we've just been doing a lot of side activities so far. Got another new update today. Well, another update. We had the day one patch and the day seven patch now. Or the day six, six the day, yeah, the day seven patch. I was right. I think we're gonna go back to a story quest. We do have a side quest that's for level two. Let's do, complete every level one thing first. You looking to buy something? Can't wait to get the grappling hook. The paraglider must be late game for when we're up in the countryside in the mountains. So this is um, an activity here. Got this hard block to pick. Yeah. Oh, he got me. Easy zombie to kill. Got it. We got an ambulance. Energy bar. MRE. And an immunity booster. A battery and an MRE and an immunity booster. We do have another ambulance. Got it. We've got some batteries, and that's it. Nice weapon, I suppose. So this is, that's it this, for this activity, huh? Just two ambulances. I'm not getting a message telling me it's complete. Empty. Something green over there. Big frickin' wall. Wires. Oh, the water is glowing through the objects. Look at this stuff right here. That's gasoline or something that we could use to fight off zombies. There's not a lot of zombies though. Oh, barbed wire. I can't believe they still let me climb it. That's a tough son of a bitch. The fire hydrant is the green item. No water, okay. No, here it is. Broken bottle. Molotov. No gasoline. So there are fence to climb. Oh, this should be like a military checkpoint or something. Can't we get into these green trucks? We can get into that one, but there's nothing there. And I doubt there's anything in this one either. Getting under there. There's what I like to see. 
freaking outstanding. Got some scraps. Why is this yellow just to climb over? Climb up. It's a long jump. I don't think we can make that. Gotta go around. If they were to put nails facing up from underneath that board, that would have been a nice trap. Something's off. Hang on. Let's get yeah. this dude. Oh. Oh. Chew on this, fucker. Oh. Got you now. I chew on it. Swallowed it, ate it, and shit it yeah. on your face already, buddy. Surprised you, all right. Little nature sanctuary on the roof. Scraps lavender. down here in this building sounds interesting forsaken store not really interesting and this is a military checkpoint loaded with zombies military convoy We might get some good gear here. And get poisoned by the green fog. We got a tank though, that's always fun. Oh look at that goon, they're so much bigger in this game. They used to be just like regular seven foot tall people. We gotta prepare before we battle him. We got him. Hit the butt throwing knife. That one hit the tank barrel. Yeah, they used to be so much smaller in Dying Light 1. It's the same type of enemy. Unstoppable goon with the sledgehammer. There's too many small ones for us to fight him. We gotta thin the herd a little. Jeez, there's so many of them. I remember those yellow suited guys from the first one. They always explode if you hit their armor. Some fun. What? I don't think I wanted to fight him. Now his friends are gonna fight me as well. Oh, shit, we're gonna get our first death. Especially if we freaking fall. Yay. Remember searching the trash cans from the first one too. You get a bunch of planks. Weapon of champions. They're on to me. Jig is up.
Heavily locked down studio, I tell you what. Barely made it. So where's our objective in front of us? 200 meters. Let's try this side. Maybe there's no more barrack. Oh, there's a quarantine zone. Global relief effort building. That was a skill you had to unlock in the first game to vault over the enemies. It's a zombie doctor. In the GRE. since it does, doesn't always work when I press the button. Motorcycle. And here it is, second floor. Let's see if we can go in the door. Is that really how it's supposed to be? That's a little weird. Don't see any open windows. I've been on this building before. Here's the open window. It's limited while we're in this building. Must be a lot of zombies. What is that? Pop rice flour and alcohol. We can go in this door. It's down. It's nothing over here. Bottle of alcohol. Another container. It's weird that our immunity would go down when we're in here. There's no zombies or anything. Bag of rice. No GRE container. So it's easy. Okay, we gotta go down when we go back in there. down that far. How does Marco live in here if there's a problem with spores? Did we find the GRE container yet? I hear beeping and buzzing. This must be it. No? Nothing in there. A bunch of green things downstairs. Maybe we do have to go down further. Our immunity keeps resetting too, which is, which is weird. We got to go down one more floor. First floor basement. 
for alcohol. They're in this room, aren't they? We got a broken bottle. Oh, he dropped it like a dummy. chamomile thought I just saw something on this there it is, it's a book brick, okay weapon of opportunity what's that, some wiring and nothing got a bottle a purse with electrical parts, a cash register with electrical parts. It's like we still have several rooms. Gangrene, a weapon. Don't see anything else. Looks like we've got to go up again. How did we overlook that? A little weird. The holes in the ceiling, huh? <laughs> Climb up the ladder, stupid. So this would be the place. I see the icon on the floor. This must be him, duh. Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. <laughs> what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. I've already killed them. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Oh, well. Can't win them all. I wonder how we're supposed to find these containers. Damn, they already spotted me. Wasting our good weapon. Lame ass zombos. Looks like there's more of them now. Not anymore. Two down. Three down, four down. One more. Must be the leader, huh? Cigarettes, infected trophy, uncommon. Flower, infected trophy, uncommon. Scraps. There, oh, we got a rare. If one more uncommon, we would have been able to upgrade a blueprint. So you see the container that's lit up over there? Oh, that's not the container. There's the container over there that's lit up. Right in front of the ladder. That's brick. And now we're supposed to shut the door. Make 
way, kid. Right, okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Wait. So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Wait, fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. It was nothing. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. The man at the bazaar was poisoned. You'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Yeah, an accident. Yeah, right. He's just taking these old thieves. toilet bowl water. Thieves. Peddling. They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. Do you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. A, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the oh, zombie so water, be sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. Don't blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? Okay, it's a deal. Here's your flower. And here's something extra. $250. Oh, yeah. We can't leave through the door. That's, that's unfortunate. First stop, second floor window. There's a window on this floor, right? Not an open one. See that noise? That's our immunity reset. And I hope it's not wasting immunity boosters or UV shrooms. I don't know why it would have the immunity timer going and then automatically reset all the time. Doesn't really make any sense. It's not like I'm gonna spend the whole five minutes just in that bathroom. Oh, we gotta go to the third floor window, it looks like. Oh! Fourth floor window. Get the hell out of here. Everyone? See, it took, it took, it's been like a minute and a half since I climbed out of the window, right? No. About 30 seconds, maybe a little less, since I couldn't use my survivor sense. Nothing left but the story, quest, and activities. We do have a lot of level 1 activities. Suppose we'll get those. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. So this is a military Hi. checkpoint. Good jump, good jump. Is there, is there a ear? Is there a ear? Oh. We were hand in hand with the corpse just a sec for a second there. So last bandage, crafting, bandage, we can craft 15, I guess we'll only craft 5 maybe, 3, 4, 5, throwing knives, let's craft, we can craft 232, I know we can craft 81. Or 36, even. So 
Seems like every freaking building our immunity goes down. Get some wire. Can. The can can. Oh, we got a infector. <laughs> Empty, empty. You guys are some lame dudes, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna tell a lot of people what in this video. So just get, get accustomed to it. Tiny bit. Five dollars. Oh God, look at them all down there. I like how the co the combat still takes a decent amount of time, like you're looking at three or four hits for every encounter. I still like that aspect of it. Sometimes it would take like um, damn near ten hits in the first game on an easy enemy in the beginning of the game. Of course you got weaker weapons in the beginning of the game, but still. This must be a military or evacuation convoy or something. Got some arrows. Green item down there, which I'm not gonna get. Got things to do, people to kill, fun to be had. Time to move on out. 600 meters away, God, what a mistake it was choosing that objective. <laughs> Inhibitors give you permanent stat increases. But I'm not sure if they even show up on your survivor sense because we've heard that message several times and haven't seen any inhibitor containers. We did unlock one in the tutorial, I think. Or maybe those blue things. No, that's some type of zombie. Or a bandit. I know a surefire way to find out. Bandit. Okay. So if it was a inhibitor container, I believe it would be in these buildings beneath us, but we I don't see any hints or anything on our screen. I hear you, but I don't see you. And I want to see you. Because you sound hot. Metro Night Activity. The night was such a terrifying experience. I thought no no game ever had managed to scare me like the nighttime setup in this game, the, the first version of this game. So I'm kind of excited to see more nighttime activities, but by the looks of how they copied all the other games, I think they would have toned it down and made it a lot less scary. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. <coughs> I didn't, like the first half of the game I was terrified to do anything at night. And then I started to get all these side quests and story missions to go out at night. Man, it just evoked emotions in me that most games can't do. And most games don't. And I would like for this game to invoke emotions in me. Kyle, you're a bastard. Don't you ever forget it. Bunch of scrap, some lavender, some chamomile. 
some honey. No, just luggage, scrap, rags. Come on, what the fuck? And scrap. Got another location beneath us. Where'd it go? Come on, it's right there. We can't even get a, 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 a cursor or a thing. Yo, is this the same one we were fighting earlier? It is, ain't it? It's blocking my knives. That's not gonna work for me, dude. Oh shit, I'm glad to see he does have the power attacks. Oh damn. One throwing knife damn near killed that zombie in the background. I was so out of his range. Oh, there's another zombie. That might have had something to do with it. This is a beautiful place. Yeah, like I'm sprinting and my survivor sense is not working. Now it's working. That's weird. It's a level one zombie in there. One, it looks like. Got some rags. Got a refrigerator. Flour, rice, rice, and honey. We need the honey. I'm glad there's multiple places you can pick that up at besides the rooftops. Got rags and resin. Two more rags, stacks of rags. He goes to rags like water. Damn. Each rag we pick up is a stack. He's using a stack, and we're only counting it as one rag each time. What's with the lag? I'm not even online. Got some scrap. Got a can. Some rags. Where'd our compass go? This is just too much. What? Who said that? I see our destination. I should have went out the other side. It's the hot air balloon over there. Was a what up, fellas? Man. What up? What up? Little piece of respect. Faster, Kyle. Faster, faster, faster. Gerald did not say that. You're misinterpreting him. Some UV lights. Oh, this is the intro level where we came. We met the people in here. Yeah, something purple on the ground. Just a weird light glitch. Do you have our player stash? Oh, there's a collectible. Yes, indeed. Journal of a Night Runner. Hardcore parkour. Hell of a jump, Kyle. Hell of a jump. I need to get a death edit scene so we I can make an outro out of it for my YouTube channel. But we haven't died yet. Well, it's not it's not gonna be on the roof, and that's the antique shop. The only place I'm looking. They were like 80 years old. I'm not wasting my time going downtown in the buildings yet. We got a mission to do here. Hear ye, hear ye, all come and eat ye at the famous restaurant, Old Ye Burger. Old Burger Ye. Ye Burger, Old Ye Burger. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Or shoe. We switch territories. So this one is the third one we've discovered, I think. It's farthest to the right, yes. And this one is level one to two. So these two territories, we need to do everything. Then to go to this territory, then this territory. Well, actually, no, we can do these whole, all three of these, and then do that one last. And then we had, we get the paraglider and we jump from this, from this place to this place. And it goes all the way up to five and six chapters right there. Lower dam are airy. And then this red area is the Newfoundland Lost Lands Renegade Territory, level five to six. You're dead now, fucker. <laughs> yeah, and your mama's dead. Take this. Get me out of here. God, our maximum health is so low. Oh shit! You're dead. Might die here. Over here, jackass. It's like somebody's got a pot farm up here. I don't mean I may not know a lot about a lot of things, but I know that yeah. that's a pot farm. <laughs> Premium humor from your boy Super. I thought that was a real person. You guys, were you stupid or something? Turn the damn siren off. We got some locations to look up. Forsaken store. Well, that sucks. I wouldn't even, if I'd known it was a forsaken store, I wouldn't even have whipped out my binoculars. Yeah. High ground is king in the land of the undead. As you can tell by the game here. How do we get up there? Yes, don't worry about it. My damn fly flashlight gave me away. We already got playing cards, two packs of cigarettes, asporphin. Don't worry about it. More people, I don't like fighting people. See you, motherfucker. And you're gonna be looking from the ground up in a second, motherfucker. <laughs> Night has fallen and your immunity will go down. Oh, we're a long way from home too, dude. We're in a brand new territory with nothing to cover. I think he used that. Oh, she's throwing shit. Like I said, she's throwing shit. That was twins. Fucking high quality gaming right there. In the same encounter, they've got copy and pasted character models. Yeah, nice too, dude. Uh, I think this is our first death, and we better get the fuck out of here, dude. He's dead. We need to go. At least to put on a bandage. Oh no! Glad we made it to this freaking dumpster. You gotta go right back up, though, man. We can't have wasted this trip. Uh, we can't take the chance of those guys respawning.
some more scraps. Yeah, I know there's a UV light over there, but I don't see the value in them yet. Infected playing card, Ace of Hearts, Volatile, Artifact Collectible. All the different enemy types you want to brag about. But yeah, we just saw copy and pasted character models in the same encounter. And you want to brag about how well of a job you did on it? Are you fucking serious? I'm ready for you. It looks like they did respawn. Wasn't this the first guy we encountered last time? Yeah, he's another goddamn bandage. Picked up a bracelet. The immunity boost was the immunity was going down, but we're in a UV light, so it's that's why it's purple now. Got some rice, flour, a body to search, a table to hide under. And we're gonna make our way to the second story. <coughs> where we fought all the other people. We didn't loot them, so there should be bags around here. $26, $20. We killed like four of them, didn't we? Well, it's not like they have anything good on them ever. So how are we gonna get up? Here's some bags. Asporphin, $13. We could have went up from the very beginning. We gotta go up even higher. Not very many people here for such a big place. There's no reason for them to guard the territory like there was something valuable here. It's a big ass property. I think that was how we get up. Right here. Oh, maybe not. Right here. What are these, some red shrooms? No. We're in. We still have to go to another floor. Hiding spots weren't in the first game. How are we gonna get up here? So there's a yellow walkway up there. Let's check in here for a way up. That's where we came in. No, there's not a way up in here. That looks semi climbable. There's a yellow thing right, uh, railing right here. Does that mean we turn right or does that mean, okay, there's a ladder up here, so it does mean we turn right. And from the ladder, we jump to the window. Yeah. Doesn't appear so. Now the ladder goes down. We don't want to go down. There's a yellow wood right there. Weren't we already over here? I think we were. And then you here and grab the ladder and you cl climb up the ladder and go into the third floor and hide under the desk <coughs> so this would be where we go next
I guess we just went on to this ledge. I feel like we're going backwards now. We haven't searched this cabinet yet. There's an ass orphan, electrical parts, more ass orphan. Plenty of things to hide under a vending machine with golden coins. We must go to this direction. Need to be low. Magic shroom. Go out onto the ledge. We must go up. This is where the yellow X's are. how we could be going up unless we go to the road there are some t sick looking zombies over there <coughs> we're not grabbing on anything So we're 57 meters away and we've got to go up. This looks like a decent place to go up. I know we're 36 meters away. I think we go down here. And we go up over here somewhere. I don't think we go up the crane. Again, go up again. We gotta get to these red platforms. <laughs> Not getting to that one. God. Stop it. <laughs> We're not making it to that one. Track from there, no. Got a yellow. Right here, this is about the right height. And it's going up more. Oh. And we're outside, so our immunity should be better. I think we go up here. Goddamn building again. Oh, there's a window. We got a tape. That's awesome. Vending machine. <coughs> Uncommon item. Bracelet, wiring, wiring. Rags, wiring, can. Onward. Look at this shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. We almost ran off. Thank God. Jeez. So the airdrop landed on top of a freaking building, It by the looks of it. Got some archer wrappings, some rations. Open with GRE access key. Rice flour, canned food, antibiotics. And I don't know what we 
get my military tech. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's cool. <laughs> Gotta use those at the craft master to improve our tools. Shite. Is there an easy way we can get to the ground? Yeah. We gotta get to this UV light as soon as possible. Oh fuck. And there's fast ones here too. There's volatiles. Oh my god. Chase level one of four. They can get on roofs too, dude. No. Oh, we can't get up there. You be light, sucker. Chase averted. Pursuit evaded. What? What? You're gonna die for sure. Buddy got away. We got an uncommon infected trophy and ten dollars. Woo! That was exciting. We've got a lot Check of stuff to sell out that. But we're out of time. This has been your boy Super Plane Dying Light 2. You're always Hope you enjoyed it. it. Would help me out a lot if you could like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>